Hi folks, this is Jay, hope you're okay today. We're looking at the preacher and the sufficient word. We're looking at this book and we're looking at a, a writer called Mr. Adams uh, on um, the preacher and the sufficient word. He writes, the Roman Catholic Church teaches the insufficiency of scripture by asserting that the tradition of the church is of equal value and necessity as the means by which God's voice is heard. The teaching is clear that scripture by itself is insufficient. That's what the Catholics are teaching. He also says Quakers and some charismatics alike assert that if scripture is preserved it also needs to be complemented and supplemented and completed by the contemporary voice of the Spirit of God within the believer or within the congregation. Liberal Christians believe that the scripture has to be subject to reason and interpreted by our, our understanding what is acceptable in our age. Some Anglicans continue to assert the need for the threefold authority of scripture, tradition and reason, though in practice their authority consists of reason, making use of aspects of scripture and tradition where these seem to be helpful. Sects such as Christian Science and Church of Christ Latter-day Saints or Mormons believe that scripture is insufficient and needs to be interpreted by more contemporary documents. Some evangelicals, while asserting the sufficiency of scripture in theory, show their belief in the insufficiency of scripture in practice by teaching evangelical tradition rather than scripture. Also, some forms of liberation theology assert that scripture can be rightly understood only in the light of other texts that of our society and the world. The common feature of those who teach the insufficiency of scripture in theory or in practice is the belief that the Bible is a good start but that it needs new material to supplant it and by which we interpret we can remember this we so all these different views the liberal view the charismatic view the catholic view they're they're all saying that yeah the bible's okay but we need more we need new revelation or we need tradition or we need uh, what culture's saying Jesus said heaven and earth shall pass away but my word will never pass away the word of God is sufficient the Bible is the sufficient word of God to guide us in our preaching and we mustn't be put off by the Catholic tradition now I'm not saying that tradition is not helpful tradition is helpful the early church fathers are very very helpful but it's not authoritative experience what people experience is very helpful but it's not authoritative Scholarship is very helpful. What culture might be dealing with might be interesting and helpful to think about and discuss. But it's not authoritative. It's the Word of God. That's authoritative. That is sufficient for all our spiritual needs. That is what we need to be teaching, the Word of God. Okay? So you must hold the line as a preacher. Be confident of the Bible. Proclaim the Bible and minister the word of God let's go to Jeremiah let's go to Jeremiah chapter 1 uh, Jeremiah uh, chapter 1 sorry excuse me then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto a nation. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, I behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt do all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. God commands, he speaks. He commands, he speaks. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Words in his mouth. You as a preacher have been, have been given the word of God to preach. It's God's word. So you're playing at preaching if you're preaching 
about Catholic tradition. You're playing at preaching if you're talking about your experiences. I have listened to, for the last few years, I have listened to many, many preachers, and most of the preachers, it's all their experience about what they feel and what they think. Yeah. We don't want to hear what you feel and think. We want to hear the Bible. We want to hear what the Word of God has to say. Not what you feel and think. What you feel and think will pass away. The Word of God is not going to pass away. The Word of God is going to feed us and help us to grow. And you who are messing with scholarship and you think you're so clever and as a preacher because you're scholarly, boo-hoo-hoo, your scholarship will come and go, but the Word of God's here for eternity. Your scholarship is nothing compared to the Word of God. I don't care if you know Hebrew and Greek better than any man on the planet. I don't care what you know. It is not as good as the Word of God. The Word of God is what feeds us, friend. And you as a preacher need to feed the people with the Word of God. Okay? So let's put experience in its place. Let's put tradition in its place. Let's put scholarship in its place. The, these things are helpful. Not saying they're not helpful, they can be helpful, but they can be dangerous if they're put above the Word of God. And uh, evangelicals can be as guilty of putting tradition, or putting experience, or putting scholarship above the Word of God. The world is crying out for the Word of God. The church is crying out for, for, for a word from the Lord. People are gasping. The yearning for a word from the Lord, and they know there's something wrong. And you're not giving them the word, a word from the Lord. You need to get on your knees as a preacher and say, "Lord, give me a word from you." Study the Scripture, and come to the pulpit with a message for the church from the Lord, from His Word, not from your little bitty stories of your life, not from bitty bits of tradition that you picked up from a le from a, a lectern. And not from your little bitty scholarship that you picked up from your library that you've got in your office. You need to get down on your knees and get into the word of God. And you need to pass on a word from the Lord. That's what people are needing today, is a word from the Lord. The church is, is famished, because there's a famish of the word, my friend. Okay?